also take this opportunity to welcome members of the Diplomatic Corps who have joined us uh, this morning. This is a very important occasion because this is an occasion where we are going to hear from the victims themselves. The victims are going to tell their story. So, ladies and gentlemen from the Diplomatic Corps, thank you very much for responding to the invitation at a very short notice. Without wasting any of your time, let me call upon uh, my young brother, Honorable Fanu Mnengami, Honorable Member of Parliament for Glenview North constituency here in Harare. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think I'll go straight to what happened to me. I was arrested just before 10. And as uh, soon as I uh, got arrested, I was bundled in a, in a very big lorry. You know, the lorries which uh, the police from the support uh, department use. And uh, what I know is uh, when you get arrested, in terms of your security, in terms of your safety, when you are arrested by the police, you must feel the aspect of being safe in the hands of the police. But when I got arrested, it was different. When they bundled me into the truck, they started uh, beating me, even before they asked me to lie down. When they were pushing me uh, just to go in the front of that big truck, they were beating me as I go uh, upwards. So I was forced to lie down, face down, we were, there were three women and, uh, and myself, so we were four. So we were forced to lie down, face down, and I was actually, my, my head was uh, between the legs of another lady who was in front of me. So you can just imagine that, uh, that sort of abuse of women. That's the first thing which I failed to say. How can I be forced to put my head between the legs of a woman? Wallace is also lying down. So they, that, they, they, they never stopped beating us. And um, we were not asked to, to raise our head, but we were just asked to continue lying down so that at the end of the day, we, we were not going to be able to identify our perpetrators. We were not going to identify them. They didn't want us to talk. They didn't want us to say anything. They were just saying, you need to lie down. If you try to raise your head, they were going to kick you uh, using their, their, their boots which they, which they were wearing on. You know those hard boots which uh, they usually wear, the, the, the support. And they were using the button sticks. And to make matters worse, they were not beating us like, like let's say, they tried to beat you here, but they were concentrating on one place for a particular period. You can be, be, they can start beating you for about 10 minutes just on one particular place only to such an extent that if you try to cry, they will increase the beatings. And if you want to get stabbed, then someone also will come and start doing the same thing, repeating the same uh, beatings which they were doing. Like what I said before, that you were four. So they will start from here um, uh, uh, up until the... the, the the last person who was the lady was in front of me. So it was like a continuous uh, process. And at one time we asked where we are coming from. Then I told uh, one of the ladies who was also beating us. Then I, I said, no, I come from Chirumans. That's my, 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 my rural area. Then I told her that, um, then she said, where specifically in Chirumans? Then I said, see how open. Then she said, ah. So you, I also come from there, but I come from a different, just uh, about a kilometer or two kilometers ahead uh, from Sia Okwe. <coughs> then I only raised a point to say, now that you know where I come from, you are my own girl, we are, we, you know, you come from the same area which I come. So why are you doing this to me? I tell you, it was as if I had done something which was not supposed to be, to be, to be done. She started beating me for the sake of what I had said to her. But she said to me, now that people, now these other colleagues of hers, they realize that she comes from the same area where I come from. If she doesn't stop beating me, then they will 
sort of maybe she would be seen as if being sympathetic to me and she started beating me you are watching cdi tv Inindi wa tisha mimi chembo tu wa duan ndaka tu wa nima puri za usiku kumatu mswa seventeen tichi nda ku demos tichi fa na wuni ya demonstration iri sada day azima kando la kaka ingani ni waka nani shunguru tapu skwa wandi sunga wandi sunga ni simbi simbi zia nda kani na skwa kuba siya wandi varira zaka buda mu mau ku wandi na mu waka nani sunungura. Ezi simbi zaje, zaka buda maoko, zaka buda maoko, dika zungwa shoko raga tau rari chiti, iwe sumu zama maoko, wise mudenga, dika sumu zama maoko dika zama mudenga, sika ndi isa pasi, hana ka ndi chisa pasi, doku ba zado na maoko, saka nda ka kwan sa ku buda wai papu, dika wai zama omi, di zanda ka ita kuti ndi wai ndi nora rama, kusika ndi pano pa ndi na si, saka ndi noti. Kuma MDC ose alikumusha watu chaya meniwenu alipo wa anakufa Pamoche tene muri yangu ziwai kutibaba wariko Dini langana ya manjengaluti chisa mba machisa Yenzoko You are watching CDI TV Hand over at this uh, juncture, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> to President Dr. Morgan Richard Changirai for closing remarks. I'd like to give. Boss, uh, over to you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for attending this uh, session and uh, to thank Ragutu for organizing this. Uh, this session, and in particular to thank members of the press and uh, members of the diplomatic corps for witnessing uh, some of the testimonies that uh, uh, that have been given. I want to sympathize. I want to commiserate with the experiences that you have. Uh, we have encountered. There are some who are incarcerated, some who have been beaten. This is the nature of the beast. That's what dictatorship is all about. At this stage of our struggle, the testimonies merely illustrate the endurance that the people of, Zim of Zimbabwe have had to confront. I think there are so many testimonies over the last 17 years, some even very tragic to the extent of uh, uh, people losing their life, limb, and property. I can only say that uh, there is no struggle without risk, and uh, some of the risk can be personal, can be collective, but at the end of the day, all we are trying to say is that we want our freedom. I think this, as a country, shocks us because how can anyone be beaten for expressing his or her rights? How, 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 can, how can anyone be charged with anything for demonstrating? You have not taken up arms. You have not been violent, but what you get from the state, which is so obsessed about the retention of power, uh, is a regime which will go all out to try to intimidate and beat people into, sub into submission. That's what, it's, that's what it demonstrates. So I want to thank you for your courage, for, the resili for your resilience, because I think that's what we need as we move forward. But I can tell you one thing. Uh, the struggle for change in this country is coming to an end. There is no way this regime will proceed to continue to brutalize people, to continue to suppress people with impunity. There's no way. Uh, 
And I think some of us will live to testify to the horrendous uh, experiences we have suffered over the last 17 years. But that is what defines our character. This is what defines the struggle. The commitment, the resilience, the endurance traits that the people of Zimbabwe are on their own, that they have to liberate themselves. No one else. Um, I'm reminded here of the Syrian experience, where, as you witness on a daily basis, it is the government that is brutalizing its own people. It is the government that is bombing its own people. Uh, obviously for interests beyond that nation. I think we all have to continue to be committed, and all I'm trying to assure you is that we are there. We'll be there with you. This is just the, uh, the beginning of the end. So let's be courageous, let's be determined. I think uh, the people of Zimbabwe will appreciate the heroic uh, role that you are playing. I am aware of the recent report which illustrates that it is ZRP, ZNA, uh, ZANU-PF, CIO, all involved in identifying MDC activists and brutalizing them. But Chisinga Perich no sure. I want to, show, I want to assure you Chisinga Perich no sure. And uh, we are at the beginning of the end. Crisis iri munomunyika cannot just disappear. Ana muchida kuve wokutanga kunzwa nyaya dzakadai mazuva ese garai makateya pa YouTube nekuklika button rakanze subscribe munobva maita wokutanga pa Zim DI TV news kunzwa zviri kuitika.